Hi guys, I'm Mark Coles. Welcome to the Physique Coach Education Series with SciTech Nutrition. Hey guys, welcome back to the next video in the series. Now, I'm gonna change things up a little bit today because I'm gonna to talk to you about the digestive system. Yes, I'm not gonna talk about actual fat loss diets, I'm not gonna talk about muscle building diets because Something that people very much underestimate, and it's the internal workings of your body. I've been through so many phases of training. Training where I'm not gaining any muscle mass, training where I've not lost any body fat, and I really hit these kind of plateaus, and you've all probably been there. So I'm gonna pose a few questions to you. Do you suffer with bloating? Do you suffer with gas? Do you suffer with bad skin? psoriasis, eczema, acne? Do you suffer with loose stool, diarrhea, constipation? Do you suffer with chronic headaches? Do you struggle to recover after training? Do you struggle to sleep? Now, the last one is do you struggle to add muscle tissue? Now, you could go through all of those and say, yep, that's me, yep, that's me. Well, something I do and very differently to a lot of coaches, is I have a very extensive questionnaire system. The questionnaire system goes into the depth of understanding about health, hormones, especially the digestive system. I truly believe that the digestive system is the key main functioning part of the body that we need to have right in order for people to lose body fat and gain muscle optimally. Why? Well, as soon as you eat food, the first part of the body that we really hit is the stomach. And in the stomach, there are enzymes um, that break down your food. And if you have any limitation or um, less than optimal amount of enzymes in the stomach, the breakdown of your food into very, very small particles, which eventually goes down into your intestines, and then it transports into the blood, and then the blood carries the nutrients around the body's vital organs, up to your brain, into all the cells around your body, to allow you to function at your very best. Now, if you spend your day around people who have bad, bad digestion, bad gas, poor memory, poor mood, they ate when they finished training for three or four days, you think this is the norm, but I tell you it's not. I've worked with clients who have really struggled with their digestive system only to do a laboratory test and find out that they've been suffering with a yeast infection or even something such as a parasite in the digestive system. And the parasite can rob the body's essential good bacteria in the gut. So can a yeast infection leaving your digestive system open to immune infections, bacterial infections, which ultimately, let's look at the simplicity of protein. If you don't have the enzymes and good bacteria in the gut, you cannot break down protein. Have you ever had protein, good quality protein, good quantity of protein and felt like it's not digesting anywhere in your stomach? Well, there's a good chance is you may have some level of protein malabsorption, maldigestion. And with all these issues going on, you're delaying the amount of amino acids that are gonna get into the bloodstream. You may have a dysfunction as to the ability to break down fats and break down carbohydrates. And as such, you have poor blood sugar levels. You have food and you feel very dizzy, very tired. A lot of it can be down to your digestive system or even further down, it can be looking at the pancreas and the ability for the body to uptake um, insulin by the body, which is another topic we can talk about. But sticking with the digestive system, if you also struggle with loose bowels, which means you're not necessarily getting enough fiber in the diet or there's something happening higher up in the digestive tract, you're not gonna be getting all the essential nutrients in your body that are responsible to help build you, repair you, make you bigger, make you stronger. Now, if you can't build muscle, you're not gonna obviously gain strength. A sign of poor recovery is gonna be that you're in pain, you're aching, your muscles are really sore for extended periods of time. And you're not gonna also lose body fat because you're not gonna be absorbing and, and transporting a lot of the nutrients in your body. So I pose this to you, you know, when I work with people, I go through this detailed questionnaire system to find out if the number one part of the body, the stomach and the digestive tract and the intestines aren't functioning, functioning optimally, you're not going to be body muscle optimally and you're certainly not gonna be in a great position to lose body fat. 
Something you probably not thought about the digestive system, but something you might want to look into a little bit more. Guys, there are plenty more videos to come in this series. Please keep interacting with us on our social media channels, Facebook, Twitter, and make sure you post anything relevant question-wise to us and we'll bring them up in the next series and the next videos.